All right, we're changing our focus for just a little bit here on Delmarva Sports Insider. Going to be kind of like 47 ABC News at 11, our top story tonight. Clay Conaway will spend the next five years in jail for raping a woman in June of 2018. The sentence was handed down in Sussex County Court just moments after his victim read her impact statement. 47 ABC's Kylie Panetta has more. Clay Conaway was sentenced to five years behind bars on Friday. The sentencing comes after the 23-year-old met a woman on a dating app and then raped her at his Georgetown home in June of 2018. It's a night his victim recalled countless times during her almost 10 hours of testimony. Then again in court on Friday, Conaway's victim faced her rapist. She spent almost 10 minutes reading her impact statement out loud to the court. She says Conaway was, quote, only interested in what he could take from me. My world shattered that day. I will carry it for the rest of my life, end quote. Describing Conaway's actions as cowardly and selfish. Conaway's defense attorney tells 47 ABC the first chance he may have at an early release is in three years. But right now they don't plan to appeal the five-year sentence because they say the judge made all the right rulings. Really, uh, Judge Stokes r really conducted an extremely thoughtful trial process. He did something that I've never seen a judge do. I requested it and that was to swear each juror that came forward and said I've heard something about the case and put them under oath to impress upon them how important it is to be 100% honest. In all, Conway's victim has waited more than 500 days for justice to be served. She says the time after she was raped was, quote, the most difficult year of my life. But she came forward to, quote, seek justice for a violent crime that's often left unreported. Kylie Panetta, 47, ABC. Clay Conaway will get credit for the 63 days he's served in jail so far. Once he's released, he'll serve one year in home confinement and two years of GPS monitored probation. This is the first of six cases against Conaway, who is now being held at the Sussex Correctional Institution. All right, moving forward tonight on to something a little more positive anyway. Helping the homeless is nothing new for the Salvation Army, and today they were at it again in Salisbury. Members of the Salvation Army hit the road today to feed the homeless and those in need. Many of them were very grateful. Every year, the Salvation Army tries to help those in need, even after they just had a funding cut from their partners, the United Way. Luckily, we're told the Salvation Army does receive food from the Maryland Food Bank, and they receive grants that allow them to feed the community with events like this. The truth is we have to adjust how much we distribute. We have to adjust how, we, how those funds and the, and the lack of funds sometimes impacts our direct services. Um, and that's the strategy we have to, to do for the year. If you want to volunteer with the Salvation Army, you can head to their website, SalvationArmyMWV.org slash Lower Eastern Shore to learn more. One more story to get to tonight in Worcester County. The town of Berlin is considering taking away its free bulk trash pickup because they say some people are taking advantage of the service. We're told each year the town provides bulk trash pickup once in the fall, once in the spring. Unfortunately, in the last year, the amount of bulk pickup items doubled, which doubled the cost of the town. As a result, the town is now considering allowing people to only get three bulk items picked up for free. After that, the property owner would have to pay a fee. We don't want to become known as a dumping ground. Yeah, We're just trying to provide a service mm -hmm. and it's being abused. So we now have to take some uh, reasonable uh, steps to see that it's not abused. The county should be voting on the issue sometime in the next few weeks. We'll be sure to update you when that happens. And checking things out on our Morris Roofing and Sign Sky Cam in Rehoboth Beach. Right now, clear skies, but temperatures have already dropped. And when it comes to our weather watchers, focus in Sussex County. We have Ted and Millsboro at 40, Bud and Laurel at 41. And John and Fenwick at 42 degrees. And for the rest of the peninsula, already on either side of 40 degrees. Already some 30s beginning to pop in as well. 39 in Georgetown, 38 in Dover, 45 degrees in Cambridge, and 47 in Melfa. And when it comes to those winds, already going calm in Georgetown, a line for those temperatures to tumble. But that breeze at 12 miles per hour in Cambridge, that's what's keeping them a little bit milder at this hour. We did have a cold front pass through, but we're going to fast forward now towards Sunday, especially before sunrise. We're going to start seeing those winds pick up ahead of the next cold front. And then throughout the day on Sunday, though, we'll have a cold front pass through in the morning. Winds will pick up as we head into the afternoon. It's going to become breezy and blustery, and then winds will begin to relax by Sunday night with gusts right around 30 to 40 miles per hour. 
This is the system that's going to be coming our way as we head into tomorrow night and into Sunday when it comes to the rain and eventually that wind. But right now for tonight, though, it's going to be a cold one. Temperatures into those low to mid 30s with winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For your Saturday, it's going to be a cool one with temperatures right around 50 with increasing clouds. And then those showers will arrive late into the day with those winds out of the south at 5 miles per hour. Here on Futurecast at 4 a.m., Overall, barely a cloud in the sky. We're going to start off with that sunshine tomorrow, but by the time we head towards sunset, that's when the first rain bands will begin to push through. That rain will peak, especially around midnight or so, and then rain will eventually begin to linger and decrease as we head towards sunrise on Sunday. Sunshine returns once again, though, as we head into your late Sunday afternoon. And that's going to set up for a beautiful Monday here on the peninsula. But when it comes to rainfall, though, we're going to deal with about an inch or so, maybe a little bit above that, depending how those rain bands set up tomorrow night and into early Sunday morning. And as we go through the next seven days, though, we're going to see our temperatures climb into the lower 60s before Thanksgiving. Ryan. All right, Ulysses, thank you very much. When we return, we're going to get to our top plays brought to you by Delaware Appliance. Delmarva Sports Insider ramps back up when we return. Take one, Denard. I go to Delmar High School. I play running back. You're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.